Hey everybody, welcome to GraceBeforeMeals.com. My name is Father Leo Paddling Hug. We're at what I love to do is just be me. Wait, you're bringing out the rosary? Do you want one? My whole body is shaking right now. I am having a cow. Give me one ingredient. Holy water. <laughs> Before I was a priest, I, I was teaching karate. I used to break dance. Uh, you know what I'm saying? A little bit of this. This is how I am in the seminary. We're gonna be making some uh, Asian burgers simply because you like meat and I'm Asian. This is how I am with my family. Like it. Like it. <laughs> this is how I am with all of you. Does it look good? Are you just saying that because I'm a priest and you're trying to be nice? One of the things that a priest wants to do is make families come closer together. It's good. <laughs> <laughs> I tell you that was not scripted. <laughs> Holy cow. <laughs> they don't call me Father Leo for nothing. Don't worry, I'm a forgiving kind of guy. I can yeah. pray for you. Oh good, thank you very much. <laughs> Last right. I have to provide for my children. Oh, and I want to touch people's hearts and minds, but I want to go by way of their stomach. Buon appetito. In the past few years, Grace Before Meals has taken off in ways that I could never ever imagine. I've come here to challenge you to a fajita throwdown. Are you ready for a throwdown? We won the People's Choice Award. The responses have come from around the world, from different countries, different cultures, different religions. I'm with CBS Morning Show's correspondent, Rita Braver. Can I get another bite? Oh, wow. <laughs> That's the best compliment you can give me. There's room for you at this table. I've had chances to meet with families. And I said, hey, I'd love to come over for a dinner but let me make you dinner. And one of the great things that they can do is make this pasta, which is almost like breakfast food. That's where the best conversations happen. While someone's chopping up vegetables and I'm stir frying this or that. I promise you, it won't kill you. And if you do die, I can do your funeral. I want you to know that you're being fed body, mind, and soul. That's my business. <laughs>